Hello everyone, welcome back to the Moonlight Server. This is Andrew here, inviting you along on another episode of fun-filled treasure hunting, resource gathering, so on and so forth. We're just going to have a good time, eh? What do you say? Well, if you recognize this place, if you've seen Moonlight Server before, you should recognize the main spawn portal right here. Takes us to, uh, to the nether over here we have uh, impulses base over there and you can see uh, tango techs lucky levers oh and it looks like we have the little guy willing to say hello and uh, donate some zombie flesh to the cause <laughs> uh, anyway uh, the reason for this evening is I, well I should say Minecraft this evening you can see here it's nighttime we have some things we need to accomplish for the server here as I alluded to in my base tour video last time uh, you can check that out if you haven't already the reason I'm here is to recheck the project board that Graphoniac has left for us there's a, a few items that we need to provide and Several of those I've already been working on, as you saw on the base tour. I've already been creating pumpkins, um, working on the cactus right now, so we can some create the cyan dye that we need and and so forth. I've uh, already done a lot of work with Kagomi uh, a while back on collecting clay, and there's quite a lot of glass uh, we've already collected. But as you can see here, uh, we need clay, we need cyan dye, dark oak wood. Uh, just taking a look around. It's nighttime. Uh, we need quartz and glass and stone, jack-o'-lanterns, wool, ender chests, glowstone, nether fences, item frames, signs, and torches. Well, as you can see, we've already got uh, the pumpkins that I have been growing in my farm. We have pumpkins all the way up here. One, two, three, four, five, six full. Full? Oh, no, okay, I call it five full and a little, uh, little bit into the six chests of pumpkins. And then some of those have been converted, as you see, into jack-o'-lanterns. Two full chests and what we have here uh, of jack-o'-lanterns have been converted. So all of these pumpkins need to be changed over. Uh, we have a whole bunch of clay that we've uh, collected. Uh, like I said, Kagomi and I already did that a while back. we got a lot of clay here already, already uh, collected. There was nether brick fences, I believe, was was asked. Was that asked for? Uh, yeah, nether fences right there. Uh, so we've got a, a chest that uh, another moonlighter is is working on. Because every time I check, this is a little bit more full. I'm not exactly sure who's doing that, but uh, but they're working on it. We've got a little tree farm going on over here. Uh, looks like uh, acacia oak is a little bit there. Dark oak is what was asked for, and you can see there's quite a quite a lot of uh, dark oak uh, wood going on there and then I filled this up with the uh, signs here the other day uh, I went through and chopped up a whole bunch of wood and converted it to signs so we're doing pretty good there birch looks like we got we got some and then we got a little sand uh, converter a little sand smelter that we uh, we have over here uh, and this was the original cactus forest that uh, or farm rather the cactus farm that we had and uh, it just wasn't producing as fast as, as I uh, as I wanted it to. And you see down in here, there's just a couple of a stack and a half, and and that just wasn't doing it. So that's why I decided to build, to build the uh, cactus farm that I've got back at at, uh, at my base. And you see in our clubhouse here, uh, just a little small tour, I suppose. A little interesting lava flows there lighting up the room and we have all our glass right here that uh, has been has been collected we've got a lot of glass in there. Um, Griffoniac has uh, alluded to the fact that it's going to be a primarily a glass city build when at the end of the Road of Awesome um, so we've collected a lot of glass and we've got our cyan dye here that we're working on and there's some cactus that has been converted so what uh, and we've got some lapis here to to create more and the lapis the lapis and a piece of cactus if you're not already aware those two together 
give us our cyan dye. And uh, so now we've got a little more. So that's what we need to do. So what I want to do right now is I want to run back and forth a couple of times to my base and to uh, clubhouse here uh, and, and bring over the pumpkins and the cactus. And as you saw here, it said uh, stone. And I've got a lot, a lot of, of uh, stone already uh, stacked up in my base due to my strip mine. So I want to bring, I want to bring the, uh, the, the stone and the pumpkins and uh, like I said the uh, the cactus to make the cyan die so I'm gonna run back to my base through uh, through the portals there and bring some bring all that supplies and bring some chests and I'm gonna stack that up over here and uh, we'll see how much we can we can add to the pile when I get back Okay, I'll see you on the other side. Okay, here's another load of stone. All right, away we go. And up and okay. Oh, uh, oh who's your Tony Romo now? Uh huh. Okay, more to go. <laughs> Here we go. Back for another trip. Got that in one shot. All right, this should be the last of the stone because we are good to go there. All right, the next item we need is cactus um, smelted, and we also needed pumpkins. Um, how are we doing over here? We got a little bit here. How's I doing? My I just got a couple of spots there. Uh, so we have a full chest, and a full chest. All right, so we'll start from the top work our way down. Okay, so I've got all of the cactus green dye moved out of the chests here. Let's just check what we've got left in the burner. Okay, just looks like a, a few here. We'll grab these. Uh, just a little bit of cactus and use some of those. So I'm going to grab this cactus green dye. We're going to move that and we also needed the pumpkins. Uh, so we're going to move. Let me grab the rest of my inventory that I have here and we'll go run this back and then on the way back when I get back to the base what I'll do is transfer the cactus that have collected so far I'll bring those over to the the cookers and we'll get that uh, get that cactus dye uh, smelting up so and then do it Peyton Manning oh touchdown all right I like that Save so much time doing it that way. Okay, and now we're back at the base. And I've got a little bit of pumpkin there first, but like I said, we're going to collect the cactus. Uh, here. Oh, nice. We've got quite a bit of it. All right, let's go bring that over here to the cookers. Da -da 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 -da. Eventually, I'm going to bring that around so it. Uh, from way over there and it'll end up in the chests here uh, I might move it from this side over to this side and take all of the non sortable things like the buckets and the saddles and uh, stuff like that and put them all on on this side so that way I can put a sorting system behind and that'll include the cactus and anything else that I want to want to deal with but for right now that is a project for another time and I just want to kind of split the load here. Yeah, I'm doing it real scientifically. <laughs> yeah, that looks about half. All right. All right, this should be just one more run right here. Come on. There we go. Come on, man. All right. 
We'll get this cactus into the smelter, and then we'll get back onto the pumpkins again. There. A little over three, a little over three and a half. Okay, so that should keep that cooking for quite a while. All right. We'll go grab some more pumpkins here. I think we got another another load to pick up here. All right, so that gives me that. There's a couple here. And then I think this one is just about full. Yeah, so that'll be two more loads there. So I got two more runs to make after this one. And that should take care of all of our resources, resource movement. So, and uh, I'll be back right after we um, get done moving all that stuff. And Drew Brees! Oh, it's still close enough. Okay, we'll be back. Okay, we have finally finished transporting all of the goods from the base via the nether portal that's gone all the way over here. And as you can see, we've got pumpkins all the way full up there. And then a whole nother chest and just getting started on a third. So we had three more, uh, two more full double chests plus a start on a third of pumpkins. And we've got a full double, a full double, and half of a third for stone. We've got cactus dye, more cactus dye, and yet again more cactus dye. Oh, and I guess I should continue this little theme that we have going. Uh, so we've got lots of stone, lots of cactus dye, a ton of pumpkins. All of that has been transported from the base. Okay, now the thing to do, let's just check the board again. Uh, yeah, clay, we've got a bunch, cyan dye, oh yeah. Let's see what we can do about converting the cactus dye. So we've got what is that? One, two, three, four, five, six. Uh, so that's uh, 54 stacks of there. That's another 54. So we've got 108 stacks. And that would be 117, 118 full stacks of green dye. And we have a little bunch of lapis over here. So we've got not quite one full stack of lapis uh, and we've got more cactus dye yet in here so if I were to take let's take these two full blocks of lapis alright and we'll take that and we'll put there's a bunch of stacks Okay, let's do this. So we've got one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. Oh, I'm not going to have enough room. Let me just stick that in there right now. So we put one green, one blue, oops, one blue, and we get two cyan. Oh, I guess I, have to, I don't want to forget that in there. Another green, another blue, and so forth down the line. There we go. So we got lots of cyan dye. What is that? That's uh, four times nine, 36 stacks. 37, sta 37 plus uh, 13. 37 stacks plus 13. So we're doing pretty good there. Okay, so that one's full, that one's full. And those are the, the stone, that's the pumpkins, jack-o'-lanterns, okay. We've done a bunch with the cyan dye. Uh, we've brought over a whole bunch of stone. We've brought over a ton of pumpkins for the jack-o'-lanterns. Uh, the signs have been filled up in that chest right over there. Glowstone, yeah, I'm just not that good at getting glowstone either. Quartz, I've been... I've been mining. I just uh, and I, I've been using a silk touch, so I, I still have to, I still have to fortune uh, mine all the blocks that I've got back at the base. Still got to do that. Science torches, item frames, 
Yeah, I've got a whole ton of leather, so I could make up item frames, torches. I could do that. I'll do that. Uh, do that next time. Uh, the moon is coming up. Let's see if we can avoid any mobs on the way back to the base. So the reason that we're doing this, and I'm including this in the the video here, is I just wanted to uh, show you that we are working towards an end goal. That end goal is something that Graf, uh, Grafoniak there, Graf has got planned for us. Uh, her, if you've watched the the Moonlight videos on her server, on her uh, YouTube channel, there's a, a roofed forest over there that she has uh, commandeered. And in that roofed forest is what she calls the Road of Awesome. And it is, it is pretty, uh, pretty awesome to, to look at. She's one heck of a designer when it comes to landscaping and making things look uh, incredible. Uh, it's, it's like a fairy forest with all kinds of magical aspects to it. Something like right out of uh, any kind of uh, 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 fairy tale or... Uh, oh, hey, hello. Oh, good for cover. And you go away. Oh, right. Oh, no fair sneaking up on a guy like that. All right. Well, took care of him anyway. Okay. Any more? No. All right. We're good. Like I was saying, so Graf has got this road of awesome going through the roof forest, and it goes pat through her roof forest out the other out the other end and keeps right on going. There's a swamp way, way, way off in the distance that th her goal is to get that road built all the way out to that, that swamp. And once we get it to that swamp, then that's where we're going to start building the city that uh, all the, a lot of this material is has been gathered for. But the cyan dye is to dye the clay that the Road of Awesome is made out of. The dark oak is for the stair block, dar dark oak wood stair blocks. Uh, they line either side of the road. The uh, pumpkins, or the jack-o'-lanterns, rather, for lighting along the road. Um, where is it? Uh, yeah, these guys, dark oak wood stairs. Uh, so we need that and glowstone for more lighting and and uh, a bunch of things like that. And I said, now I've got a bunch of, I've got a ton of leather here, and we can convert that to uh, item frames. But I don't have a lot. I only have two stacks of sticks. So I've got one, two, three, four, five, six, seven stacks of leather. Uh, I'll keep a, a few for myself just for my own purposes around the base, but I figure these seven I can convert to item frames for for the cause. And Graf likes to put item frames with things uh, in it along the road, uh, just adding to the the visual aspect of it. It's, it's really cool. We might take a look take a look at that next time. So that is what I've been doing here. Uh, just kind of doing my part with the materials and the resources that I know we're going to need. Uh, I want to be make sure that I'm uh, I'm supporting the supporting the team. We all support the team. So now with that done, I feel like hey, I've done my homework. Uh, I've, I've you know washed the dishes, done my chores, that kind of thing. And now we can look at what is the next project around here. And I mentioned it earlier in Rather, I mentioned in the last video, rather, that uh, up here and up here, I wanted to expand these towers. But as I just saw at our <laughs> trip to the clubhouse, we're doing quite well on the pumpkins. We're doing very well on the pumpkins. So we, we, we're, I think we're ahead of the game on that part. So what I want to do is in instead of, of expanding the towers right now I want to work on the plans I had for this area right here um, and like I put the cactus farm on this side 
uh, I mentioned in the, the base tour that on this side I want to do a reed or a sugarcane farm. So with the chores done for now, <laughs> got more to do as these keep producing, still pumpkins coming, still more to do, but uh, I want to work on the next project which is getting that, that reed sugarcane farm in here. We'll take a look at that and I think that will do it for this episode and we'll take a look at, at digging this out and and getting that reed farm going uh, next time. So I'm gonna it's nighttime. I think I'm gonna go hit the sack figuratively. And I'm down to 16 chickens left. Anyway, alright, that will do it for this uh, this episode. And I'm gonna get some shut eye. No, I don't need to do any farming right now. All right, that'll do it for this episode, and I will see you guys later. Bye-bye.